Hey, friends, we're going to draw a folding surprise apple. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. When it's folded up, it'll be an apple with no bites. And then when you open it, it'll have lots of bites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. And you also need some? Paper. And? Something to color with. Yeah, something to color with. <laughs> Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's start by folding our paper. We're going to take the top flap and line it up with the bottom edge, crease it down the middle and out to the corners. I can help you too. We're going to line up those corners. There you go. And then right down the middle and then out to the corners. Yes. Good job. Then we're going to take the top flap and fold it back up to the top edge and do the same thing. We'll crease it down the middle and out to the sides. And yes, crease it down. And then we're going to flip over our paper and repeat that same step. There you go, like that. And we're going to take the top flap and line it up with the top edge, crease it down. Now this is just a guide fold, so we're going to unfold that last one and flatten it down so that it's easier to draw on. And then we can flip our paper back over. And when we're all done, it should open up like this. We also have scratch paper we'll put underneath our drawing paper. This is just to protect our table since we're using markers. We don't want to get the markers on our table. Yeah. We're using red paper, but you don't have to. You can use whatever you have at home or in yeah. the classroom. Now we're ready to draw. We're going to use our Art for Kids Hub markers, but you can use whatever you have, like a pencil or even a crayon. Let's first start by drawing the stem to our apple. So we're going to start in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And we're going to draw a little curve that comes up to the right. So we're going to start right about here and come up to there. Yeah. And then let's draw another curve. We're going to start at the bottom, but then get further away at the top. And then we're going to connect at the top. There's our stem. Now let's draw the leaf. We're going to draw a curve going out the other side. There you go. And then we're going to draw, this is the middle of the leaf. We're going to draw the outside of the leaf starting at the end and curving around. So we're going to curve up and back down. And then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom of the leaf. Yes, and we can even add a little diagonal line inside. Okay, there's our stem and leaf. Now let's draw the apple. We're going to start by drawing a curve that starts here on the leaf, and we're going to come out and down. So we're going to start here. We're going to curve around like this, and then we'll come down and stop at the fold. Perfect. <laughs> I love your little apple. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw the other side. We're going to draw a curve that comes out this way and then down and match. We're going to come out over here. Yeah. And then let's draw the bottom of our apple. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then we're going to come back up. So come down to here and then back up in the middle. Oh, I love it. You could just keep going if you want. <laughs> or <laughs> we can draw the other side like this. Come down and connect. Yeah, I like that your apple is round. And it's okay that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. How old are you? Six. Six. You can be super proud of your drawing. And it's okay if your drawings look different too. I'm sure they're turning out awesome. The most important thing is... To have fun and practice. Yes, have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Let's put our markers off to the side just for a second. We're going to open up our paper and flatten out the folds so it's easier to draw on. We have the top of our apple way up here and the bottom of our apple down here. Now we're ready to draw again. Let's start at the top and we're going to extend this line past the fold just a little bit. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're going to connect across, but we want to make sure that when we're drawing, we don't go above this fold. We want to stay below the fold. So I'm going to draw little bumps looking like it's been bitten or eaten. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Now let's do the same thing. We're going to repeat the step down here at the bottom. So first extend it up past the fold on each side. Yes. And then we're going to make these bumps, but we're going to go the other way and it will look like water. Look at that. Oh, I like that you're drawing the bumps that way too. That looks awesome. Okay. Now let's draw the core in between our apple. So we're going to start up here. And we're going to curve in like this, and then we'll curve back out at the bottom. And then we're going to repeat 
but go in this way. So we'll start here and we'll come in and then back out. <laughs> All right, now we need seeds inside of our core. We're gonna draw an upside down raindrop. So we'll start here, come around, and then back in like a point. Yes. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. I love practicing art with you. Those are great seeds. Good job, Olivia. Okay, now let's draw our little worms and our caterpillar eating the apple. Let's start by drawing the worm. We're going to start here and watch this. I'm going to start at the bottom and we're going to draw a curve, but watch. Towards here at the top, I'm going to get further away. See how it's close? So we're going to start close here and then we're going to curve, but come out further. Yes, and then we're gonna curve around for the top of our worm head. <laughs> yes, and then we're gonna draw the bottom of our worm's body down here at the bottom. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our little worm's mouth and our eyes. I'm gonna draw two little eyes that are small. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the mouth. Let's draw a backwards C shape, but I'm going to draw kind of big. You see that? So we're going to start here, come around and back. <laughs> and then we can draw, I'm going to connect mine just like you connected. And then let's draw the teeth inside. I'm going to draw letter U's that connect to each other. Oh, I like how small you drew them. And then we're going to draw upside down U's for the bottom. <laughs> okay, there's our little worm. Now let's draw a caterpillar on this side. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but this time I'm gonna draw little bumps for the caterpillar's body. So watch, we're gonna curve like this and come up. Yes, keep going. That's a good spot to stop. And then watch this, we're gonna curve around for the head and connect into the apple. Yeah, and then down here at the bottom, will connect and also. Okay, now let's draw the face. We're gonna draw a funny face just like the worm, two eyes. <laughs> and then let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw the same thing, but draw it this way. So it looks like a letter C. <laughs> Look how big that mouth is. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the teeth too. I'm gonna draw upside down U's and U shapes to, oh, a sharp tooth. <laughs> That's even better. Oh, maybe we could even add antenna on this one. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna draw little circles at the top too. <laughs> we finished drawing our funny little apple, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this is my favorite part. We could even add more things in the folding surprise. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Olivia, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our apples and they turned out awesome. I especially love how they look all colored in. Yeah. We colored our apples red, but you could color them different colors, like yeah. green or what else? Maybe yellow? Oh yeah, yellow would be awesome too. I like yellow apples. <laughs> all right, should we show our friends the inside? Yeah. Okay, on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Happy yum yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yum yum yums. <laughs> I love your drawings so much, Olivia. I especially love the little extra ladybugs that we added. Thank you, I like yours too. Oh, thanks. Now you guys can pause the video to match our same coloring. You could also add way more things in the background. Maybe yeah. lots of bugs. Oh yeah, and a background. Oh yeah, and a background. Ooh, butterflies would be really cool too. Ooh, yeah. We used our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, we used 15 red for the apple. Then we used 46 dark green for the leaf and a light green 59 for the caterpillar. We also used two pinks. 17 and 89. Yeah, what was 89, the dark pink? Yeah. And we used that for the texture on the worm. Yes. We also used 15 red for our little ladybugs. Oh, and the inside of our apple we used 26, which is a light yellow. Yeah. But remember you can use anything to color with, like crayons, color pencils, or even oil pastels. Yeah, we hope you have fun drawing apples. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. yum.